liberal world order started trending after White House Director of the National Economic Council said this on CNN. Or to pay four eighty-five a gallon for months, if not years, this is just not sustainable. Well, what you heard from the president today was a clear articulation of the stakes. This is about the future of the liberal world order, and we have to stand firm. But at this Brian, that gets to your yeah. point. Right. Well, he, he, this, this, right, that, that this 40% increase or whatever it is at this point is about beating Russia, is about, and what he means is liberal democracies, that this yeah. is, these are liberal democracies who are facing off against authoritarianism in a struggle for the future, and that if you want to win that struggle, then yeah, it's going to cost, uh, you know, and you're going to sanction a giant oil producing state. Now, I, I can, I can play plenty of arguments that these, the sanctions aren't the way to go, that this is now becoming a regional war between Ukraine and, and Russia, that the United States doesn't need this, this heightened level of kind of mobilization mm -hmm. around. Um, but that, that's the point that he's trying to make there. Yeah, and, but the reason that we have the status quo relationship we do with Iran and with other countries that puts us in this, this precarious situation that we're so dependent on other economies and wars in other parts of the world for what happens in our pocketbooks is because there are stakeholders that the liberal world order is responsive to that keep things the way that they are. Right, and there's nothing there's nothing liberal about Saudi Arabia. Absolutely not. Or the United Arab Emirates. Well, women can drive there. Yes. It's that, pretty liberal, Ryan. Yeah, there you go. Some women can drive there. Yes. Uh, so, right. So if you're, if you're allowing Saudi Arabia into your, into your liberal world order, <laughs> then uh, let's, you know, let, let Venezuela and Iran in too. Uh, and then you can, now, I, if, he, if, if they're really going to say, look, uh, you know, suck it up for five dollar a gallon gas uh, for the good of the world. At least you'd hope it'd be around climate change, but, <laughs> but no. Although they try, Macron tried that, and others have tried that. That's not the path forward. Like you can't, like crush crush the working families into exactly. oblivion for the for their own good. And be expect expect to be rewarded for it. Well, exactly. Not, yeah. And who gets rewarded at the same time? Who, while they're being punished, the people who get rewarded are also special interests that are being rewarded as part of these contracts and these deals. Um, that even if they are companies that are going to help us transition, they are still major corporations, and they're still funneling a whole bunch of money to the top into special mm -hmm. interests. But people who think that there's some button that a Republican could come in and press, and all of a sudden. Drill. Like they're, they're drilling all over the country and it would immediately go right in your gas tank and prices would go down. Oh. It's just a fantasy land. Uh, and I, we'll, you know, we'll, we're very likely to find that out.